Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I am here with a video for you. This video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing from me. Um, and this is kind of a Project Life tutorial. This year I started Project Life with my friend Brianne. And Project Life is a scrapbooking system. It's a really easy system. And if you want more information, I will have a link over on my blog, sprinkledwithglitter.com to where you can get some more information about what Project Life is and how it works if you haven't heard of it. But what I wanted to show you today is how to print multiple 3x4 images on one 4x6 print. I'm going to use professional printing for my Project Life photos. I'm going to be using 4x6s mainly, but Project Life uses 3x4 and 4x6 photos. And so sometimes we need to take a photo like this and make it fit two per page on a four by six. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So I've opened up several photos and I've even opened up a digital scrapbook paper here and a digital scrapbooking Project Life element here. And I'm gonna show you how you can kind of incorporate those and use them on your photos as well if you don't have enough to fill up. So I will show you that in order to open the photos, I'm in Photoshop Elements here, but I've just gone to File, Open, and I will go to my desktop here, actually. I wish I had a little shortcut over there. But I'm gonna go into Project Life Week 2 here, and I'm going to just open this photo here. So it's just open and go where your photos are and open those all up. And I like to get them all opened up over here so that I can do all my cropping at once. I'm going to open a new blank file here on Photoshop Elements, and I'm gonna use inches. And I am going to use a four by six because that is what Costco prints. And for my resolution, I wanna make sure it's 300 because that's what is generally used for print size. And I leave my RGB color mode the same and I usually use this as a transparent background. It's gonna automatically convert to white when I flatten the image, but I just leave it on transparent. So I'm gonna open that up and you'll see my canvas here and it's a nice blank canvas. And I'm also going to go through cropping these images and then adding them to this canvas here. So I'll start out with this Instagram photo, and this is of the Planet Hollywood book that was in the room that we stayed at at the first night. And I've learned just through experience that Costco, when they print their photos, has a little about, about an eighth of an inch bleed where it will cut this off. So instead of using the full three inches on the Instagram and losing part of this frame, because I think that's kind of what's charming about the Instagram photos is the frames, I crop these down to two and seven eighths, which comes out to 2.875 by 2.875 square. Resolution stays at 300. And then I can grab my crop tool here and just crop that whole picture down and then hit the check mark and now that has changed that to a two and seven eighths inch file. Now when I go at the end to close out all these when I'm done working on these, I will not save each individual file as I've cropped them because I like them to be in their original format when I have them on my computer. I will only save them on the canvas as this size. So I can go into this other Instagram and while I have it set at two and seven eighths, I can just go ahead and crop this one down as well. So I'll show you those on the canvas here. I'll open my canvas back up and I will just use my little arrow tool and drag these over. And then like I said, I like to use a, leave a little gutter about an eighth of an inch here and you can kind of line it up. This is the quarter inch mark. So that gives me about an eighth of an inch there, top and bottom. And I kind of guesstimate it. I don't do it exactly, but I will then go ahead and drag my other Instagram photo over here and put it side by side. Now if you're really finicky, you can, on this canvas you'll see your layers right here, you can select these by choosing one and then command select the other, so both of these layers are selected, and you can go to a layer and you can go to Actually, let's just go to this align right here. 
I apologize for the phone. And then you can just go top edges and those will put them um, perfectly even across the top. Now I can see that I have a little more gutter over here than I do here. So while those are both selected, I can just use my arrow tools to move those over. And now I have two Instagrams on that one photo. And in order to make this a printable photo, because right now it is a PNG file, if I were to save it, I'm just going to go to Layer, Flatten Image. Now that makes that all one 4x6 print. And then I can save this as a JPEG so that it's a printable image. I can upload a JPEG to Costco. And I just title mine Week 2 PL for Project Life. And then I'll say 1 for you know, because there's going to be multiple four by sixes. So um, I'll just save that to my desktop for now. And I can hit save. I always use the maximum quality large file. Um, those are always the ones that I use. And then I just hit OK. So now I have these two images on a four by six image to print two and one. So then I will just finish these up and I'll go to new blank file. Once again, I'm going to use my four by six size so and 300 resolution. So I'm just going to go in and now I have a new blank file down here. Now for these, these are generally taken in a four by six format. So I want to crop these to a three by four. So I just selected my crop tool again. If you can see it over here, crop tool there. And I'm going to change this to a 3 inch wide by 4 inch tall and 300 resolution crop. And so when I go here and I select the area that I want, when I hit my check mark, that's automatically going to make it a 3 by 4 file. So I'll go to this one and I will do the same here. And the nice thing is you can kind of crop out what you what you actually want in your scrapbook and what you don't. So I kind of crop out some of this extra. I don't always use the whole photo for that. So I crop that down and one more here. I'm just going to crop this down. And I love this rainbow of sorbets here. I love this photo. And I'll just crop that down. So then once again, I just go over to my canvas and I will drag these three by fours on. Now, I don't leave a gutter on the three by fours. I only do that on my Instagrams because I don't want the frames cut off. So here I will just put them side by side. So I have two three by four photos on one four by six image and I would just go layer, flatten image, and then I would just save it. And then once again, week two, week two, ooh, PL, and then this would be two, and we're going to save it on the desktop. And you can save it wherever you want. And just go save. And then I wanted to show you if I have, I've used, let's see, let's open up a new blank file, and I'm going to do once again a four by six. But I wanted to show you that if you have a extra photo as I do here, see I haven't used this one yet, so I can go ahead and drag that on here. And then instead of printing this with all this white, because I still want it to be a 3 by 4 to fit in my Project Life pocket, I can do a couple of things. I can use a digital scrapbook paper and I can crop part of this down to a 3 by 4 image and drag that onto my canvas. So then I could use that as a filler card on my Project Life, just by putting that on there. Or I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer. And I have this Project Life, Hello Life, it was a digital freebie. I can fill that space with that as well. And that just allows you to get some extra mileage out of these 4x6 prints if you don't have enough to fill them up. Maybe I'm not going to actually use this this week in my layout, but at least I can, you know, print this out and have it in my stash and I'm not using my own ink or my own printer to do that. 
So once again, layer, flatten image, and then I will just save it. I'm not even gonna worry about saving the title on this one. And I wanted to show you about say when I go to close the program out because I don't I really think this is important. When I go to close all, it's going to ask me if I want to change this original image here. This would leave my nice 12 by 12 original paper here as a little dinky 3 by 4 piece of scrapbook paper, which I don't want. So I'm I go through these and I say don't save so that all of my photos where they're saved at are in their original format. If I were to hit save, these would always be down to that three by four size. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody understands that you don't want to save the individual photos that you've opened once you've cropped them down or you're going to lose a lot of that in there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Look for plenty more on Project Life from me this this year, this coming year. I'm really excited about it, including some organizational ideas. Um, and also look for another video from me this week with a card video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.